So recently I was on the Cisco Market Forum Discord server just lurking and then I saw this. <clears throat> After crying for about 20 minutes I came to the realization that this is correct actually. If you would binge watch the episodes right now, especially the more recent ones, you will notice that I go through the same graphs and spreadsheets and repeat a few things in each video. So I thought I would address this right here for a second before we get into episode 10. You can skip to the start of this episode by using the timestamp. As I already acknowledged, the series is repetitive in a sense, but that's mostly by design. The point of this series was and still is to go through each case one by one and provide every possible information I could find on it, so that in the future, if you're unsure about a certain case investment, you can always come back and watch the episode on the case. Some things I talk about are time period specific, meaning if I address the current summer high possibility with a Spectrum 2 case, that won't really help you out much in December for example, but generally I try to balance the short and long term outlook of a case. For this episode we will also have a new set of data to work with, as the GOAT himself, that is Fierik, posted the updated case unboxing numbers for May on the CSGO Market Forum subreddit. So let's just get started with episode 10 of Best Case Scenario on the Spectrum 2 case. In this CSGO blog post from September 14th, 2017, that also officially introduces Chinese players to the game through Perfect World, the Spectrum 2 case was announced. It was released 6 months after the Spectrum case and finds itself in the non-prime drop pool. The Spectrum case meanwhile is in the rare pool. Both cases include the second generation knives in chroma finishes, which includes the butterfly knives as well. Among those chroma finishes you got your Marble Fate, your Tiger Tooth, your Dopplers but also your Rust Coats, meaning you could get one of the least expensive knives in the game, the Shadow Dagger's Rust Coat, but also one of the most expensive knives in the game as well, the Butterfly Knife Doppler. More specifically, the Doppler finishes give you the very small chance to unbox a Butterfly Knife Ruby, which trades for over 9k, or a Butterfly Knife Sapphire which is worth over 16k, both prices according to CS Money. In terms of its special rare items, the Spectrum 2 case is up there in the ranks thanks to the inclusion of the butterfly knives and three popular and expensive finishes for any knife you could unbox from here. There are also two finishes that are quite unpopular and inexpensive, but that doesn't seem to have stopped people from unboxing in this case. So with that, let's look at the recently published graph by Fiedig on the total case unboxings in May. The post will be in the description and he explains how he calculates these numbers on there if you're interested in that. The numbers won't be 100% accurate but as good of an estimate as you will get for sure. As you can see the clutch and fracture cases continue to top these charts and we don't have to look too far down to find the Spectrum 2 case as it's in 4th place right now with over 1.9 million unboxings in a month. By the way, who opens these Bravo cases man? That's over 500,000 euros worth of just Bravo cases in a month right there. Goes to show how much money is pumped into this game on a monthly basis. Anyway, if you compare the Spectrum 2 case to its predecessor, there is a 1.5 million difference. If we compare the prices between the two, we can see that the Spectrum case was around 55 cents during the month of May and the Spectrum 2 case around 16 cents. The last time we got a graph like this was from mid-March until mid-April. During that time, the Spectrum case cost around 40 cents and the Spectrum 2 case around 13 cents. And we noticed that the difference between unboxings here was only 1 million at that time, meaning 500,000 fewer Spectrum 1 and 2 cases were unboxed last month than between March and April. This tells us that the Spectrum case's potential is somewhat limited by the fact that Spectrum 2 is an active non-prime drop, since half of the demand for Spectrum 1 went over to Spectrum 2 in that time. This sheet by FUBAR which was posted in the CSGO Market Forum Discord server almost 2 months ago clearly shows that the Spectrum 2 case's market share is the second highest among all cases, meaning supply is not an issue for Spectrum cases going forward. Especially since the Spectrum case itself was pretty high up this list as well. Unlike the breakout and glove cases, the former being the only case with butterfly knives and original finishes and the latter being way cheaper than the only alternative, the Spectrum case, based on the numbers we have just looked at, can't seem to hold on to its demand as well as long as the Spectrum 2 case proves to be the much cheaper alternative. Having said that, the total amount of unboxed cases is down about 3 million between these two graphs, so this is something we would have to monitor over a couple months. Having said that, the Spectrum case saw the most significant decline in openings among all cases. But this video is on the Spectrum 2 case, so let's get back to that and look at its current ROI according to Jonesy.mo after the case recently saw a 33% increase in its price. According to this site, the ROI is at only 47%, but the 
glove case is only at 31%, so I wouldn't read too much into it. One thing that is clear though is that the Spectrum 2 case can attribute its rise to the general increase in price for a lot of items in CSGO. For example, and yes, I will go back to the Spectrum 1 case again, if we look at its graph from last summer, we can see a similar first increase in its price last May, followed by stagnation and then a peak at 24 cents in July, before the case then settled at around 20 cents for a while. We have yet to find out if we will see a repeat of last year, but one key difference, if that is the case, is that unlike the Spectrum case, the Spectrum 2 case is an active drop, meaning it won't have a problem replenishing its supply and falling to previous lows again. Which in turn means that investing into the Spectrum 2 case, especially these days, will only bear fruit if the case is moved to the rare pool next. It's still highly questionable if Valve are ready to do that though, since they seem to want to keep at least one case with a specific rare item in an active drop pool. The only cases that they have not done this with are the 5 cases that include the second generation knives. So if we do get a summer hype, it would be advisable to sell all or at least part of your stock. The long term prospects of this case largely depend on two things. The first is time. If the CSGO scene continues to be as active as it has been for the past two years, the Spectrum 2 case has a good chance to slowly climb in price as the Spectrum case slowly becomes more expensive as well. Your ROI, especially if you buy in at these prices, will not be as high for the Spectrum 2 case as for other items though, unless factor number 2 works out in your favor as well. And that factor would be the one I already addressed, Spectrum 2 becoming a rare drop. If that happens, GG. Yes, the supply is very large, but so is the demand and that coupled with investor demand, which is already extremely high these days, will give the case's price a big push. Same goes for Spectrum 1 of course, but since Valve have yet to make a specific set of special items rare apart from the second generation knives and OG finishes, I am skeptical for the time being. In terms of its skins, the case has the AK Impress as a pretty good covert skin and one of the worst coverts in terms of its price in the P250 see you later. And that's really all there is to it. Luckily the butterfly knives themselves would be enough to carry the case. Just don't expect much until the case is a rare drop and don't really expect that to happen until Valve changed something about their drop pool system. And with that we have come to the end of this episode. The next episode, per request by one of my viewers, will be on the Falchion case. As always, thank you for watching, have a good one.